Hello, and welcome to the DB Schema channel. Today you will learn SQL without writing a single line of code. But what exactly is this SQL? SQL is the language that helps you communicate with your database. SQL is used in many jobs, whether it's to extract customer information, update product details in a store, track sales performance, or even manage inventory. Usually these tasks require complex code, but today I will use DB Schema, a database design tool that you can download for free. I will show you visually how easy it is to do all of this without needing any code knowledge. Let's get started by opening the sample models which have been specially prepared for beginners. We are now on the main screen, where you can see the diagram with one table already created. Right now, we're using an H2 database, but it could also be MySQL, for example. A database is where all your data is stored. This is our schema, called public. A schema is simply a way to organize tables in the database. Here's a diagram showing the structure and relationships of some tables. You can also add a new diagram here to keep everything organized. Now, let's create your first table. Right-click anywhere on the diagram and select Create Table. Name the table Persons. Every table needs columns, so start by adding one called First Name with the type Varchar and a maximum length of 100 characters. Next, add another column called Last Name and check the mandatory box because everyone must have a last name. Finally, create a column named Person ID as the primary key. It means that this column will be unique, identifying each person by their ID, and its type will be an integer number. This is the visual representation of our persons table. If you'd like to see the code that DB Schema automatically generated for this table, just double-click on the table's header and select View SQL Statement for a clearer understanding. Now that we've created the structure of the table, it's time to insert data into every column. You can do this manually by selecting the first icon on the table header, labeled Data Editor. In the editor, press Insert Record to start entering data into the table. Now save the data, and you've successfully added your first person to the database. To make our database more complete, DB Schema can automatically generate random data for us. This is a quick way to add multiple records and see how the database works with more entries. Just like the connections between countries on a map or flights across the globe, tables in a database can also be linked together to form meaningful relationships. Let's explore how we can connect multiple tables to see how tables are related and how foreign keys help keep the data accurate and organized. Let's create another table called Flights. Flight ID, this will be the primary key from city column and to city column. These are mandatory fields. To track which person is on which flight, we'll create a third table called flight connection. This table needs to include columns from both the person and flights tables, so we can create foreign keys. 
we'll add person ID from the person table and flight ID from the flights table. By doing this, we can link the data between the tables and create a relationship that shows which person is assigned to which flight. In the connection table, we can accidentally add people or flights that don't exist. To prevent this, we use a foreign key. A foreign key is created by dragging the referencing column, this is person ID, and linking it to the corresponding column, person ID, in the persons table, ensuring that the record already exists. Before we start querying, I've already filled the flights and flight connection tables with some data that matches our person's table. This way we can clearly see how everything connects. Here's what we have. In the person's table, person ID is one. Our guy is John Smith. In the flights table, flight ID is 10. In the flight connection table, person ID equals one and flight ID equals 10. Meaning this person will take that flight on this date now, instead of manually searching for this information, let's use DB Schema's Query Builder to easily retrieve and analyze the data. Drag and drop the persons and flights and flight connection tables into the Query Builder. These tables are linked by foreign keys, allowing us to retrieve meaningful data by joining them. To make the results clearer, I'll select all columns here, only these ones here and these specific ones here. You can choose from different types of joins. For this example, I'll use an inner join, so the result will only show matching records. This means it will include only people who actually took a flight. We see that the person John Smith, with person ID 1, took flight number 10 on this date from New York to Berlin. The other person, Wendy Payne, with person ID 2, took flight number 20 on this date from Paris to New Delhi. Now let's break down the query that DB Schema has generated automatically. The select statement includes all the columns we've selected earlier from the tables. We've given aliases to the tables. For example, P for persons. The query starts by retrieving data from the public.persons table, where public is our schema, remember? Then, it uses two inner joins to connect the relevant tables. This ensures we only get records where the data from all three tables matches, showing us the details of people and their flights. In DB Schema's Query Builder, you can also apply filters to refine your results. For example, you can filter to show only records where the first name starts with J. You can also order your results exactly how you need them either in ascending or descending order by simply selecting the sorting options. Additionally, DB Schema's Query Builder includes a variety of aggregation functions like count, sum, and average, which allow you to perform calculations on your data directly within the tool. Great job, you just finished the course. Here's a quick recap of what you've learned. Designing databases visually without writing code. Creating tables, defining columns, and setting up foreign keys. Connecting multiple tables and running queries with ease. Filtering, sorting, and using aggregation functions in DB Schema's Query Builder. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and check out our other videos to unlock even more features in DB Schema.